So this question is preceded by some information. This information actually related to questions 37 and 38. So we've already seen it for 37, but let's go over it again. So this question has a diagram or has this dot plot. So I'm gonna call this a diagram question. Again, because any question that provides some visual input question. So we see the dot plot here. We see the line of best fit, which I just extended outside of the graph. And we see that some points are above that line, some points are below that line. There are actually no points that are on the line, which is perfectly fine. Um, our, our x axis is depth, our y axis is velocity, and our title here says Columbia River velocity versus depth. All right, so the information provided to us says at a certain location in the Columbia River, the velocity of the water flow at different depths was, me was measured. The scatter plot shown gives 11 measurements, okay, so there's 11 measurements, of the velocity v in feet per second of the water at various depths d in feet. A line of best fit for the data is also shown. Okay, perfect. So then what can we say, right? So this all makes sense from a graph versus what we read standpoint. Let's go to the question to see how we're asked to use this information. So the question says, for what fraction of the data points, okay, so fraction, I know I'm gonna have a fraction, so pick my fraction bar, of the data points, well, we know that there are 11 data points, so that those, I know that my denominator is 11, so I'm kind of using like a translate word problem kind of thing going on here, right? I'm translating everything that I read. So for what fraction, fraction, of the data points, there are 11 of them, in the scatter plot is the velocity of the water flow predicted by the line of best fit greater than the measured? Okay, so where basically is the line higher than the actual points? Where does that happen? Well, that happens here, that's one, two, three, four, and five. There are five data points for which the predicted, you know, value by, you know, predicted by the line of best fit is actually greater than the measured value. The line is higher than the point. So five out of 11. So this is a perfectly good answer for you to fill in on your self-response. Um, we could also convert this into a decimal. So if you go to your calculator and say, well, what is five divided by 11? I get 0 0.4545, like it just keeps on going, right? So we want to round to like three decimal places, so the third decimal place here. So we can say this is 0 0.455 is what I would do, okay? So those are your two options to the exact same answer, just different ways to represent that answer, but either of them will be marked as correct for this test.